Let's start with muscles in the deep perineal pouch, which contain the deep transverse perineal and the external urethral sphincter muscles. First we'll look at the deep transverse perineal muscle, which you can see now highlighted in green. We're looking at the pelvis from that inferior view we've seen a few times so far, but now the muscles of the pelvic floor are covered anteriorly by these perineal muscles. The deep transverse perineal muscle, which is quite a mouthful, runs transversely from the ramus of each ischium to insert at the walls of the vagina in females, the prostate in males, and with its muscular fibres from the contralateral side at the perineal body in both sexes. Traditionally, most perineal muscles were thought to insert onto the perineal body, but more recently it's been discovered that their muscle fibres interlink with their counterparts from the opposite side at the perineal body. The perineal body is therefore now thought to act as an intermediate tendon between the left and right muscle bellies, allowing their muscle fibres to communicate. The deep transverse perineal muscle functions to provide support to the pelvic floor, which remember lies superior to this muscle. It also functions to stabilise the perineal body, as its muscle fibres pass through this structure to reach the contralateral side. It is innervated by the deep perineal nerve, which is a branch of the pudendal nerve. Next, we meet the male external urethral sphincter, which we can see now highlighted in green in this sagittal view. The male external urethral sphincter, sometimes known as the rhabdosphincter muscle, is situated just inferior to the prostate and is continuous with the isthmus of the prostate. It is composed of skeletal muscle fibres which surrounds the middle, lower or membranous part of the urethra and run from the apex of the prostate to the penile bulb. The male external urethral sphincter functions to maintain urinary continence until it is voluntarily relaxed for micturition, also known as urination. It is also responsible for the expulsion of semen during ejaculation. The male external urethral sphincter receives its innervation from the perineal nerve. The female external urethral sphincter, also known as the urogenital sphincter, is composed of three parts, the superiorly located external urethral sphincter proper, the anteriorly located compressor urethrae, and the posteriorly located urethrovaginalis sphincter. The innermost part, the female external urethral sphincter proper, consists of circular muscle fibres located around the proximal two-thirds of the female urethra. This part is thicker anteriorly than posteriorly, yet it forms a true annular sphincter around the urethra. Muscle fibres from the external urethral sphincter proper are continuous inferiorly with the compressor urethrae muscle and extend posteriorly. They encircle the urethra and insert into the fibrous septum found along its posterior surface. The female external urethral sphincter proper solely functions to constrict the urethra on contraction. Its fibres relax during micturition. This muscle receives its innervation from the perineal branches of the pudendal nerve. Muscle fibres forming the compressor urethrae muscle arise from the ischiopubic rami on each side and pass anteriorly towards the urethra to join with its counterpart on the other side. The compressor urethrae muscle is continuous superiorly with the external urethral sphincter proper muscle and posteriorly with the urethrovaginalis sphincter muscle. It works together with the other muscles of the female urethral sphincter to constrict the urethra and is similarly innervated by the perineal nerve. The third component of the female external urethral sphincter is the urethrovaginalis sphincter. This broad, flat muscle is continuous anteriorly with, with the compressor urethrae muscle. It extends posteriorly, encircling the lower part of the urethra and vagina, and interlinks with its counterparts from the opposite side at the perineal body. The urethrovaginal sphincter functions to constrict both the urethra and vagina as its muscle fibres pass around these structures, and is similarly innervated by the perineal nerve. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.